part five of the Inherited Trauma series, and now we're taking a deeper dive into what can cause a break in the attachment. So before I read this list, please know that the majority of us have experienced something on here. And it does not mean that you are an inadequate mother in any sense of the word, okay? We all have enough mom guilt. The intention of me sharing this and doing the work that I'm doing is so that you can be prepared on how to heal and repair a break in the bond. It's simply that. I don't want you to feel worse about your motherhood journey. I only want you to know how to remedy whatever you've experienced. I'm reading from a list. First is prenatal. Biochemical stresses during pregnancy from poor nutrition, exposure to alcohol, nicotine, pesticides, and other chemicals or drugs. Moderate to high levels of maternal or family stress, fear, anxiety, or depression. Unwelcoming or fearful responses to discovery of the pregnancy or not being wanted in some part of the pregnancy. Consideration of abortion or attempted abortion during the pregnancy. Domestic violence or stressful abusive relationships between the parents, death in the immediate family, loss of a twin during the pregnancy at any time. Next is birth, which can be prematurity, chemical induction of labor, fetal monitors that are screwed into the baby's scalp, unusually long or very short labors, being stuck during labor, cord wrapped around the baby's neck deprivation of oxygen from many causes, near-death experiences, surgical interventions such as C-sections, forceps, or vacuum extraction, uh, anesthesia that breaks the connection between the mom and baby. This is neonatal. Separation from the mother after birth or for any extended period of time during infancy, adoption, maternal postpartum anxiety or depression or other mental illness in the family, death in the immediate family, moderate to high pain from accident, injury, or illness, including circumcision or any other surgery, heel sticks, spinal taps, etc. hospitalization of baby or mother. A lot of you have asked for this. Here are the examples of what a break in the attachment may look like in a small child. Glossed over eyes or avoids eye contact, crossed or divergent eyes, total or partial inability to orient in new situations, hypo or hypertonicity in the body, startle responses without the presence of loud sounds or fast movements, involuntary shaking, tremors, hands splayed or very tightly clenched, high pitched, weak or hollow crying sounds, excessive crying that is inconsolable, doesn't cuddle when being held, arches away or is rigid regularly, very extended periods of sleeping, nursing or feeding difficulties, latching difficulties, excessive hiccups, frequent gagging, extreme, extreme spitting up, vomiting, and sleeping difficulties.